This is an E89 Z4. It's a 2009 model, the start of the series. They ran through to 2016. I can't speak for the later ones, but this early one was delivered with halogen globes for the angel eyes or halo lights around the headlights, and they give off a very yellow appearance. I wanted to update the look of my car, and so I went in search of some white LED globes with integrated ballast. I'll put the link in the description. I found some, they were very easy to fit, and they really transformed the, the look of the car from the front here. So it's a much whiter light, much more modern. They don't blink or flicker like that in real life. That's just the way the, the camera uh, picks up on them. Uh, but when I was fitting them, I discovered on the left side of the car here that, that that's the, the gray plug there for those globes. And I discovered that the wires had started to disintegrate or the plastic sheath on the wires. See how it's all cracked and breaking up. And I'm a little bit concerned about that from a safety perspective. You can imagine uh, traveling at speed at night with your lights on and maybe hit a bump and those wires uh, touch together, short out, blow the fuse and maybe lose your headlights. Uh, so I want to address it. The other wires down in behind it there, perfectly all right. It's only those two wires and it's sort of the, uh, just really the top section of them uh, that's doing it. Interestingly, on the right side here, same brown and white wire, no problem with them. They're perfectly fine. So it's only affecting one side of the car for me. I've researched it and found that it is a known issue with these BMW uh, E89s, also with the E85, the earlier generation, and some of the 5 Series from the same era. I was aware that Mercedes had this problem in the mid-90s and late-90s from using biodegradable plastics trying to save the earth. Uh, I'm not sure what BMW is trying to achieve, but it is a known issue with these. And the general consensus is that it's caused from heat generated by the halogen globes themselves. And so now I've upgraded to LED, I'm confident that that right one won't get any worse or it shouldn't degrade. Um, but uh, if, if this hasn't happened to you and you've got halogen globes, maybe you want to consider LEDs because they do run cooler and uh, you might be able to avoid this problem altogether. Uh, but uh, I'm going to have a go at fixing it uh, because, uh, or fixing it, putting something over these wires. I did investigate buying a new wiring loom, uh, but unfortunately it's integrated with the whole headlight. Uh, so BMW will sell you a whole headlight, uh, but not the wires themselves. So let's see how we can fix this. So I've pulled it apart and I wanted to see how bad uh, the, uh, the rot went. Um, it goes quite a way down before I got to where the, the sheath was quite stable. So there's a lot there that came off. Probably didn't need to remove it, but at least now I know yeah, where I need to fix. Uh, so first option I considered would be to use electrical tape, uh, good quality electrical tape, uh, wrap that around each wire. And that'd be a good interim fix as well. Um, I just thought it might be a bit look a bit messy. I wanted a neater solution. Um, at least you wouldn't need to disconnect the plug to do that, so it would be the easiest to do. The Another option would be to use liquid electrical tape, which also perhaps you could do without disconnecting or, the, uh, or dismantling the plug. Um, but the option that I chose was to use uh, heat shrink, and uh, this is the size I've discovered I need to use to, to fit, over, fit over these uh, connectors here. Uh, it's obviously a lot bigger than the wire itself, but I uh, need that to fit over the end. So I'll leave the details of the size of that heat shrink in the description. Uh, the connector, the plug, is a pain to get apart. Uh, it's, it's definitely possible and took me a long time to actually work out how to do it. Uh, now I know, I'll share it with you. Uh, there's two, uh, two or three steps to it. The first step is that you have to uh, lift up this little, uh, this little door or latch on the back. Uh, so that's got to be lifted up because that partly holds the connectors in. And um, with that up, just let me show you. Uh, they slide in like that. Uh, so that's how they're, how they're coming out. Uh, but they won't come out very easily because there's little tiny uh, catches, these little sort of uh, scales or little wings here. There's one there and there's one on the other side. 
uh, they need to be squeezed in to, to, to release it, to let it go out that direction now, the connector. Uh, there is a special Bosch tool available to do that job. I don't have one. Another option is, which I've done, is to get yourself a paper clip. Uh, I cut off a little section of it. I made this little pair of tongs here. Um, get a hammer on an anvil and you can flatten down the, the, the ends of it uh, so that they're nice and skinny. Uh, put that over and effectively you're putting it over there, squeezing it together, holding those little bits in and then uh, pulling on the other end of the, pulling on this end of the cable to pull it out of the connector. Um, you shouldn't have to, if you, if you have to pull hard then you're, uh, then you, and you're not doing it right, you haven't pushed these little uh, wing bits in far enough uh, to release them. Uh, so now I'm going to go and get some more heat shrink and finish the job. The, the size of the heat shrink that you need is 4mm and I was able to get some in black. So this is, was the brown sheath wire, it's now black. Um, the uh, white, I was able to only get that in 5mm, so it's a little bit loose on there. I actually put some of the 4mm black pieces on underneath and and then the 5mm white is put over the top of it uh, to, um, to hold it in place, so it can't go anywhere now. Um, and this was the little special tool. I've modified it a little bit further, so you now see there's a little bit of a kink in each end so it really is like a pair of tongs now and uh, just to sort of try and it's very hard with one hand the camera here but what you're trying to achieve is is while this is in the connector is you're going over the top of it and you're trying to push those little uh, tabs in there um, and so you you squeeze on it like a, a tweezers and then and then keep pushing down and uh, the the uh, connector will release from the um, from the plug. The plug is all back together, and this is the LED globe with the integrated ballast uh, to go back in.